on the line here to uh, get a Hell Night poster uh, signed from Linda Blair herself. I want it to be unique. Everybody's getting Exorcist posters. Not me. I'm doing Hell Night. We reviewed it once. Well, I got the Saturday Night Fever poster, the original, and um, I got the uh, autographs of some of the stars. We all played Stephanie, Donna Pascal, who played Annette, Father Frank, who played John Schwartz's brother, um, Double J, who played John Schwartz's best friend. All right, are you getting anybody else? Are you yeah, playing yeah, one more okay. Here we are at uh, Chiller theater uh, convention here we are and uh, we're Chiller. I remember that actually I actually remember that thank you Hennessy for re for reminding me and stuff like that and that then the there you go <laughs> Here's Vic still finishing his breakfast. He loves his waffles, by the way. I taught him how to make the waffles at the, you know, there's a waffle maker here. So, you know, and most hotels have these. And he didn't know how to use it, so I had to help him. Mm -hmm. And that's all he's gotta say. So, um, yeah, this is part of the experience. is Horror and Coffee, Strange Planet NYC. Victor and I are at the Chiller Convention here in Persephone, New Jersey. And we're here to check out cool stuff and to get autographs. Vic, you got a lot of autographs. I got a lot of autographs today and I'm very happy. I got some of my uh, hard, hard to get signatures fulfilled for my posters. And so, uh, yeah, it's been a great experience. Mm -hmm. The thing I was looking forward to that I finally got accomplished for me was meeting Linda Blair. I've been trying to do this for years, okay? To meet her, get her signature on a Hell Knight poster. Not, not an Exorcist poster, a Hell Knight poster, because I kind of reasoned this in my head. Everybody on that line, and I waited on that line for quite a while, had some form of the Exorcist on them. I whether I think almost everybody. Whether it was a pop toy, whether it was a movie poster, whether it was a um, you know a Blu-ray cover you know it didn't matter what it was it was always The Exorcist mm -hmm. and I said well I want to be different and now Victor and I a few years ago on Horror and Coffee reviewed Hell Night yeah um, and we in you know and that was one of the things that we always kind of said well where she, he told you told me that she didn't have any pictures from Hell Night right I went up to her table and I uh, asked her if, you know I wanted to get an autograph for her but I didn't want her to autograph anything Exorcist. I wanted her to autograph Hell Knight, because Hell Knight is one of my favorite slasher films right, of the 80s. Right, and it was really good. It's a good movie. It's a good movie, but she had nothing. And so right. everybody on that line, and this was about maybe like in 2000, the year 2000. Okay, okay. This was about almost 20 years ago. Everybody in that line had something Exorcist. Everything yeah. was Exorcist. It was yeah. a movie she's well known for. So what I did was I said, you know what? Let me be smart. I looked at the table again. There was one that could have been a Hell Knight, there were like snapshots of Hell Knight, the movie, in one picture, but I didn't like that. It, it right. seemed very collage-like collage and, and cheapy. So I decided to go shopping around in all the toy sections and all the collectible sections for a Hell Knight poster, and I found one, and that's what I used. And after oh, oh, like two hours, I finally met her, and she signed my... Hell Knight poster, and it was great. And you know, I, you know, I had a chance to tell her about my experience about The Exorcist because, as you all know, The Exorcist is one of my personal top favorite of all time horror films. It set the standard for demon possession movies to follow that can still to this day, to this day, not come close. I have a lot of friends at my where I work at uh, who. To this day, say they can't see that film because it's scared. Exactly. Of it. Even today, people are. I'm not seeing that. And it's 2019. It's not 1973 anymore. Yeah. Now, that was all I came here for. Okay? I didn't get anything else. Just that. That's all I really wanted to get. So I got it. Victor here, though, is different. Victor loves posters. 
movie posters. Right. A lot of movie posters. And he's, <laughs> in fact, there's one right here. Yeah, there's and one of my posters right here. <clears throat> the Saturday Night Live poster. Saturday Night Fever. I'm sorry, Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> Freaking A. You know? Um, so tell, Victor, tell me about this poster, the Saturday Night Fever one. Oh, uh, so Saturday Night Fever poster is a rare poster. It's uh, a, a, what they call an original one sheet. Um, usually these are the posters that they give to the movie theater uh, when the movie comes out. And so uh, it's very hard to find one completely uh, um, not folded because back in those days, all posters were folded and shipped out to the movie theater. Mm. This one, however, is, is, is not folded. It's rolled. And so that is very fair find. Two, another fair find is getting it in mint condition. Mine's is in, in very good condition. Not in mint, but in very good condition. And the other thing that my goal was is to get the signatures of uh, the po uh, of some of the main stars in the film on the poster. What Which, signatures do you have here? All right. So in this uh, poster, I have uh, the main character. Uh, I forgot her name, her real <laughs> name, but that doesn't matter. But she's the main character who's uh, played Stephanie. Stephanie, who who's, goes out with John Travolta in the film, the one that he's madly in love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she's on the poster herself, and she signed it right here, Stephanie. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, then there was an, uh, Donna Pescal, that's her name, I, I know her. Um, she signed, her name was Annette in the film. She was in love with John Travolta, but John Travolta wouldn't give her the time of day. Um, then John Travolta had many of his friends hanging out with him. Um, right here, Double J was one of his friends. Mm -hmm. He had a signature, uh, the main character. Actor's name is here. I forgot his real name. <laughs> and then the guy who played his brother in the film, Father Frank, mm -hmm. his signature right here. It's hard to read signatures. It's hard to read signatures because the way they sign them. And then in this one, who plays John Travolta's sister in the film, she signed her name right here. Now, on this, right over here, is a signature. Uh, Bert Michael, I think that's his name, Bert Michael, who signed the poster for me. His name was Pete in the film. And he used a silver pen, which it didn't come out very well. Oh, uh, yeah. It looks stuff. a little messed up. Yeah, you can't really tell it. I could tell him to go over it, mm. but then it would look like it's somebody else, like, a, like oh. if I did it. And so oh, that would okay. be the value okay. of the poster. Yeah. So this is this is sometimes my goal when going to the Chillers, is getting my poster signed by the main actors uh, of the film. What other posters did you get? Okay, I had gotten the Carrie poster. Oh, and who did you get to sign today for that one? All right, uh, the Carrie poster had gotten to sign um, uh, PJ Souls, who plays Norma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I had gotten. Uh, but those were in other times. You got. That, that PJ no, Souls wasn't right. here. There, see, that's the thing about uh, the, when, you go, when you go to these conventions, uh, you never know who's going to show up. Yes. And so you would have your posters put away. And then when that person shows up for that particular movie, you would go into your closet and get that poster and make get them signed. Uh, oh wait, didn't you get didn't you get uh, Carrie's mother today in this? Place? I got Piper Laurie, right, right, who right. plays the mother, Mrs. White and Carrie. I also got um, Nancy Allen, who plays um, Chris. There is a poster that you revealed to me today. Right. I didn't know you had. Mm -hmm. West Side Story. Right. Okay. Tell me about that. Wow. West Side, West Side Story. Story. Okay, okay. West Side Story is one of my favorite musicals. Yeah. Now, I don't like musical movies. I, I really don't. Uh, I have no, no connection with them. Okay. But West Side Story, for some reason, it's, it's, the music was great. The, uh, the story was good. The, the, the singing, the dancing was good. It, it was the first one. I was like, wow. And there's only, <laughs> there's only several musicals yeah. in my lifetime that I, I would say, okay, I, I wouldn't mind watching that again. Right, right. And right, that right. would be Mary Poppins. That would be... Uh, um, Sound of Music, mm, mm. Um, Annie, okay, the 1982 version of Annie, and West Side Story, which to me is one of the best musicals I've ever seen, and that's that poster is very rare. I I saw as yeah. you showed me. Right, the poster is very rare. I got in uh, three signatures on that poster. A mm -hmm. lot of signatures on that poster are very hard to get because most of the cast members are have already passed on. Oh, okay. And but there's still some surviving characters. Mm -hmm. um, the only one that I'm missing. Uh, who's still the big one? The big the one. The big one is um, Rita, Mor Rita Mor Moreno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the West Side Story to me, in all my collection of posters that I have, that one is the most valuable poster. Cool. Okay. Now you also have 
um, a 70s film, a disaster film called um, Airport 77? Or right, Air Airport 77. There were, there were several airport movies made throughout the 70s. Yeah, a lot of plane crashing. That was, the big, that was the big thing back in the 70s where they made a lot of... Uh, um, um, Plane crashes, the, sh the boats, Poseidon Adventure, uh, Towering, Towering Inferno. Inferno. Exactly. So um, one of my favorite disaster films besides the Towering Inferno, which is my top of uh, uh, disaster film, is Airport 77. Mm -hmm. two, airport seven uh, two, two, port, two airport movies were made before that one. That was Airport 75 and Airport, just plain Airport. Just Airport. But Airport 77, I saw it with the family when I was young, and it was a great film, and I loved it. Right. The poster itself is very iconic it, because it has the plane, mm -hmm. a full plane, underwater, which right. today is impossible. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's that not doesn't possible. happen in real life. It will but, get destroyed on impact. Right, right. Um, but the poster itself is, is, is it's, the, the, the painting is just great. Okay. It, it, it speaks, it's volumes of what the movie is about. And everybody in that movie has passed on except one character, which is uh, um, one person, his name, her, her name is Lee Grant. She, she was at the convention. She, Lee Grant is also, she also was in uh, Damien Omen 2. Yes, that was another one. I wish I had yeah. that poster. So yeah, oh, I man, I would have, yeah. Yeah. I would have gone for that. And I hope she's uh, she's still around. But if, if I do get that poster, I hope she's still around. She mm. can sign oh, that. yeah, that's one of our faves. Right? Yeah, we yeah. grew up on that one. Yeah. Um, but So she signed that poster, and that's the only one in that list of characters in the box. She's, yeah, she's the only one. And wow. She, she even made a comment that says oh, that... that Oh, you're gonna, it's going to be hard for you to get the other ones. Uh, you're going to have a quest to get those. And, <laughs> which she already knew that those guys, there's no way I'm going to get those guys. What else? I yeah. have The Seduction. The Seduction. What's the, um, I, I heard you know, I heard of that movie years ago, but I didn't know that was Morgan Fairchild. Morgan, Morgan Fairchild, Fairchild, right? right? Yeah. This is a movie I saw on HBO several times. Okay. I didn't see it in the theater uh, because I just they, the marketing for it was not out there as much because it was an R-rated film. R-rated films don't usually get marketed that much in the 80s, right. except real late at night. Okay. So if that okay. uh, trailer ever came out late at night in, in, on TV, I, I never saw it. I've never seen it. However, I saw the movie on HBO, fell in love with it. It was a great movie, great thriller. And so I had this poster, and I, was, I, I bought the poster with the intention of getting Morgan Fairchild uh, signature on it because I knew she, goes, she does chillers a lot. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, finally, mm -hmm. she did the chiller, mm -hmm. and so um, uh, I got her to sign the poster. Yeah, you know, let me tell you, when you come, you know, it's funny if I can make a commentary on these conventions and stuff like that. I don't know what's the purpose for some of them. It may have, you know, and I don't know because I can't judge it. But Vic, I feel like there's a self, you know, depending on who it is, it comes more from a selfish intent, uh, monetary wise, right. maybe, maybe, mm -hmm. you know, or, or. They really care about the fan base. Right. And I like to think that the fan base is what matters. Right. You know what I mean? We all grew up on these films. For those of you who are listening around our age group, and you know these movies, you know, if you ever want to meet these people and collect cool posters and stuff like that, this is a great opportunity to do it. Mm -hmm. You know? It's been close to like eight years now that I've been going to, um, at least as much as I can, right. to these uh, conventions and fairs or whatever you want to call them, you know, cons, okay? It's an amazing experience. There were even some pro wrestlers here earlier. I don't know yeah. if you saw mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the Nasty Boys. Right, the Nasty Boys. Yeah. They, they go to conventions a lot. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of, like you just said, a lot of these uh, actors or actresses uh, do it only for monetary. Yeah, because yeah. they need the money. Uh, right, right, right. A lot Be of these people don't get don't get roles at their age right mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, this is a way to you know get get money. Um, but a lot of them also do it for the fan base. Everybody has something. Everybody has a purpose. So let's bring, let's let's go to a convention when you get a chance. Go to a convention and affirm these men and women who have entertained us for years and years and years with their films, with their TV shows. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I like about these conventions a, a lot is, is one of the things that you just, you just talked upon, that a lot of them do do it for the fan base. Because yeah. you could see it when they meet you and they greet you. They're really excited to see yeah. a, a person who's admired them all these years. Yeah. And yeah. when I go yeah. up to a person and I shake their hand and say, thank you for entertaining me or whatnot, right. um, they really show that they, are, they, 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 really, um, that, you know, they really care. They really do care and stuff like that. So on that note, we're going to cut it here. 
Um, what are your thoughts about horror conventions or any kind of cons? And what are your experiences regarding meeting these uh, stars that have entertained us all these years? Talk to us, comment exactly. below, and share with us your thoughts on Strange Planet NYC. If you like what you saw here, please consider subscribing and click on the bell to get further notifications. See you at the conventions. That's Hennessy, isn't it? Hennessy <laughs> <laughs> used to do that shit all the time to me. Oh, like do it again, do it again. <laughs> I hate that fucking elbow. He, he, he never did it like, like, you know, like, 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 like playing fight. He likes he to stay in bed a lot. He's doing stiff. Ugh. Oh no, on the bed. Oh no. <laughs> How you feel now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I, 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 I had a great time. I had a great time with these two guys. I want to thank them for, you know, inviting me over to the Chiller Convention and stuff, Vic and <laughs> Hennessy. And yeah, yeah he, Hennessy was making strange sounds that I didn't even knew kind of came out of a farm animal. Give him the elbow right now. <laughs> And then we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, oh, that's it. Oh, that's it, big splash. Yeah. Oh no, oh, don't break the bed. You're gonna have to pay for that. Ha <laughs> Kamala! All right guys, cut, we're done.